This is a story based on true facts. Some names have been changed to protect the innocent. Our thoughts go out to all victims of tragic events. This tragic incident occurred on July 22, 2022. The tragic shooting of Andy and Rachel, both 42, and their six-year-old daughter, Lacey, at Maquoketa Cave State Park in Iowa, remains a deeply unsettling event with many unanswered questions. The family was camping when 23-year-old Anthony Sherwin, a stranger to them, unalived them with his bang-bang in their tent. The nine-year-old son, Mark, survived the attack, although the circumstances of his survival have not been disclosed by authorities. Uh, at about 6.23 this morning, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office and the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation were called to the Maquoketa Cave State Park uh, campground uh, on the report of a shooting. Uh, when officers arrived, uh, they located three deceased bodies at a campsite uh, in the Maquoketa uh, Cave State Park uh, campground. Anthony hey, Sherwin, who was also camping at the park with his parents about 75 yards from the family, turned the bang bang on himself after the attack and undeaded himself. Investigators from Iowa's Division of Criminal Investigations, DCI, have not identified any motive for the deaths. Both the victim's family and the shooter's family have indicated that there was no prior interaction between the two parties. Rachel's brother, Jeremy, stated, We didn't know the suspect. The suspect didn't know us. Iowa DCI Assistant Director Mitch Mortvet confirmed the random nature of the attack, stating there was nothing that precipitated anything other than just the randomness of it, the proximity. Andy and Rachel, both 42 years old, were a married couple from Cedar Falls, Iowa. They were described as loving parents who cherished spending time with their family, often enjoying outdoor activities such as camping. Rachel was known for her dedication to her family and her community. She was remembered as a caring person with a positive attitude and a passion for helping others. Rachel's brother, Jeremy, described her as a loving mother who deeply cared for her children. Andy was also a devoted parent and husband. He shared his wife's love for the outdoors and enjoyed spending quality time with his family. Friends and family remembered him as a kind and gentle person who was always there to support those around him. Lacey, only six years old, was described as a vibrant and joyful child. She had a bright personality and was known for her curiosity and playfulness. Her loss at such a young age has been felt deeply by everyone who knew her. Mark, nine years old, is the only surviving member of the family from the tragic event. Mark is described as being a brave young boy, having endured a traumatic experience. Early in the morning, 23-year-old Anthony Sherwin, who was camping with his parents approximately 75 yards away from the family's campsite, entered the family's tent. Without any known provocation or prior interaction with the family, Sherwin fatally shot Andy, Rachel, and Lucy. The specific details of how Mark survived are not publicly known, and authorities have not disclosed this information. After the shootings, Anthony Sherwin fled the scene into a nearby wooded area, Shortly after, he unalived himself by bang-bang. His body was later found by law enforcement officers. The shootings were discovered when other campers at the park heard a child calling for help. Law enforcement and emergency services were called to the scene. Jackson County 911, where's your emergency? Market Pizza Caves. Uh, Market Pizza Caves? Yeah. Okay, what's going on out there? Shooting shooting and he said that his parents were shot in the blood. Oh, I don't know if that's his fault. He doesn't know if they're shot. That's scary. Uh, I woke up and there was like someone in the, like black clothes and they had a weapon and my sister was screaming. Were there any shots or what kind of weapon yeah. did he have? Uh, I think it was some kind of small gun. What is your name? Cecilia Sherwood. You're the park ranger. Okay, you go ahead and talk to him, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Upon arrival, they found the bodies of Andy, Rachel, and Lucy in their tent. Mark, the surviving child, was found at the campsite and was taken to safety. Investigators, including agents from Iowa's Division of Criminal Investigation, DCI, stated that the attack appeared to be completely random. There was no known interaction between the family and Anthony Sherwin before the incident. Neither family knew the other and there was no apparent motive behind Sherwin's actions. Anthony Sherwin was a 23-year-old from La Vista, Nebraska. 
His family had been camping at the same park, and they were also shocked by the incident. Sherwin's mother expressed disbelief at the accusations against her son, suggesting he might have been acting out of perceived fear or threat, although there was no evidence to support this theory. The police have been awaiting autopsy reports to provide further insights into the incident. As of the last updates, no additional information has been released to suggest a clear motive or explanation for Sherwin's actions. Officers found the body of this man, Anthony Sherwin. He's 23 years old. Sherwin appears to have suffered a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Authorities have not confirmed how the other campers were killed, nor Sherwin's relationship to them. We are told there is no danger to the public. However, the park is considered an active crime scene, so it is closed to the public because of the murders. Local force Matt Holderman reports they can't find any motive so far. Just really uh, unthinkable emotions that we're dealing with right now. Four days since the shocking murder-suicide shooting at Makokota Cave State Park, investigators are now moving closer towards final conclusions on what happened and final answers to everyone's questions. But unfortunately, some of those answers may be the fact that we never will get answers. There was nothing that we can that we can establish that precipitated anything other than just the randomness of it. Mitch Mortvet with Iowa's Division of Criminal Investigations has been on this case and he says one baffling conclusion they could be moving towards is that the alleged killer, 23 year old Anthony Sherwin, didn't know the people he killed whatsoever and may have carried out the killings with little motive. At this time we have not been able to come across any type of interaction between him and the Schmidt family, um, nothing that precipitated it. As, as far as we know, again, after talking to, you know, his family that he was with, his parents, as well as other campers. This was completely random. Nobody in either families knew anybody. We didn't know the suspect. The suspect didn't know us. Um, we don't know of any interaction that occurred. It was simply this individual woke up that morning and decided to pick a tent uh, and walk into that tent where... My sister and her family was sleeping and never got a chance to wake up. Morehouse says the Schmidt family were simply enjoying a family vacation at the park, doing what they loved before becoming victims of the tragedy. About a year and a half ago, they started camping for the first time and the kids took to it immediately. So that was their, their thing that they loved to do as a family. Uh, was to get outside Despite and be together. Investigations, including interviews with Sherwin's family and other campers, authorities have not established a clear motive for the killings. The randomness of the attack and lack of a discernible connection between Sherwin and the family make it challenging to understand why this tragedy occurred. While there may be no active investigation into the murders due to the confirmed death of the shooter and lack of a discernible motive, the case could be considered closed from a legal and investigative perspective. However, it remains a tragic incident with unanswered questions, particularly regarding Sherwin's motive, which leaves a lingering sense of incompleteness. If any new evidence were to come to light, it could potentially reopen or extend the inquiry into understanding more about this tragedy.